Join me as I take a neighborhood drive through tour of Painted Desert. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my neighborhood series. In this series, I'm doing a drive through tour of all the neighborhoods in the Las Vegas Valley. If you want to learn more about those neighborhoods, uh, just go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com where I have done numerous videos on neighborhoods in Vegas. So right now we're going to take a tour of the beautiful guard-gated master plan community called Painted Desert. This is a golf course community and it's located right off of 95 and Ann Road and um, we're gonna, the, the goal is to take a tour of the neighborhood and then after we're done we'll take a tour of the golf course. The golf course is a public golf course and it is on the outskirts of the guard-gated aspect so anyone can go into the, um, the golf course. So, Painted Desert has been around for some time. I'm going to get into that in a minute once I go through the gate. Got to show my ID, MLS sheet, and hopefully they'll let me in. <laughs> Sometimes they can be sticklers over here. while we're waiting. Nope. Hello. Showing my client a home in here. 74869 Orange. 7469? Uh-huh. Orange Hayes. It's, uh, any, it's Katarino. Uh, the owner, you know the owner? No, it's vacant. It's, uh, it's, uh, shown as is. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, because they have a apartment in Street, young Cutlery, and young David. I don't know which one is that yet. I don't know. I'm a real estate agent, and uh -huh. they said all I have to do is show you this sheet uh -huh. and tell you that I want to look at the house. Okay, go ahead. All right, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't understand a word he was saying. Could you? <laughs> okay. All righty, let's... Uh, I've only been in this neighborhood a couple of times, so it's kind of like I'll be exploring it for the first time with you guys. But from what I understand, let's get my cheat sheet and put this away because I'm not really seeing a house here. Um, that this community was developed from 1987 to 2003. And um, it comp comprises of a little over 1,600 single family homes, luxury custom estates, townhomes, which they call duplex villas, and condos ranging in size between 1,022 square feet to over 5,000 square feet, and it's in a little over 460 acres. Um, so this is a more mature community, and it's, like I said, it's been around since 1987. It is a golf course community. Um, some of the homes are surrounded on the golf course. But it uh, looks like I'm hitting a dead end over here. Yeah, These look good. like the duplexes. Oh, just going somewhere. Let's see. Like I said, I haven't been here in a long time, so we are going to explore Painted Desert together. So these look like the t duplexes, either single story or two story duplexes. And a duplex pretty much is two homes stuck together or what I would call a townhome. Now, actually, the HOA, I'm sure you'd want to know, we're taking the perimeter, is, um, looks like 194 a month. And it could vary depending on if your home is in a, another gated community. So the HOAs could vary. Don't mark my word that that's the HOA because this is just one community. I do have another sheet. Let me see what that one says. This one says 152. Um, so the master association looks like it's 
I, it varies. I can't tell you what the HOA is. <laughs> Let's keep on rolling. We do have friends that live in um, Painted Desert. There's another guard gated area that we will go to and drive around that neighborhood as well. It's pretty big. I mean, 480 acres is not that big in, in reality. And 1,600 homes is really not that much. But at least it's a private, exclusive, guard-gated community. Let's see if I missed anything. So the condos, those range in size between 1083 square feet to 1394 square feet with two to three bedrooms. Um, and then the townhomes, which are those villas, range anywhere between 1,022 to 2,181 square feet with two to three bedrooms. And then you have the single family homes that range in size between 1,354 square feet to over 5,000 square feet uh, with two to five bedrooms. So it looks like this whole, when you come into the gate, you take a left, that's where all the duplexes are. It looks like they have a lot of them. Solana Del Mar. Alright, that's the gate, so let's go right. No? <laughs> it's like a maze in here. Take a left. The only shocking thing about this neighborhood is they really don't have a community center or pool in this neighborhood. When my clients had bought in this neighborhood, they were a bit upset because it did not have the pool or community center. They do have a clubhouse at the golf course. Um, so these, the pretty, very tight houses are very tight together, don't you think? Yeah. They feel congested. So more duplexes. Uh, I want to get some video of some of the houses. But I'd rather get video of the nice big houses. Oh. Well. This is another gated Palm Canyon. Hmm. Let me see if I have access into here. Dang it. These don't have the gate codes. Oh well. Thought I'd try. So inside the guard gated, there are other gated communities in here. So that's interesting. Palm Canyon. Shadow Way. It's trash day. Mondays. Seems like the Northwest trash days are Mondays, and then our little area is Tuesday. So these houses don't look anything, in my opinion, like extremely different. They are all very cookie cutter looking. They all look the same to me. Let's go down this way. They're all the white, old school white houses.
All right, well, let's get out of here and go to the other gated community, if I can ever find my way out of here. I need to find the way out of here. nice thing about this area is it is so close to so many shopping conveniences on Ann Road. You have all of the car dealerships, but anything you want to buy, shop, it's just right there. I mean, it's pretty awesome about how close all the shopping conveniences are. So I'm going to get out and take a tour of the golf course briefly, and then we're going to go to the other neighborhood and then wrap it up. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, I'm over here at the Painted Desert Golf Club. And so the golf club winds through the 460 acre community and it offers spectacular views with scenic fairways with beautiful water features, lush landscaping and native desert vegetation. Um, this golf course was designed by Jay Morris, who was the former host of the Nevada Open. And it's open to the public seven days a week. So this is a public golf course. I do believe they have a restaurant in here and a golf shop, some tennis courts over there. The course is about 6781 yard. Ah, let's see what else. This is a lounge area for social events. This is the, oh, the Painted Desert Walk, Rock Wall Grill Restaurant. So you have the restaurant in here. And then you have the golf shop, which is nice. I'm gonna stop them. So this is the putting area and then also the driving range is right here. It's a beautiful day to be golfing. We have the beautiful mountain views in the backdrop. Very nice facility. 
I hope no one gets married right there. That would be kind of awkward. <laughs> I don't know you had a wedding right there. I bet you that's what it looks like. <laughs> what else is over here? Um, pro shop, graphing equipment, yada, yada. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go on the course. But as you know, when you walk out, you have the driving range and then the um, puttings area. So you don't have to walk very far to get to the driving range. And then you have the nice tennis courts. Alrighty. Let's see what else I can see. Just looped around. So I will see you guys on the flip side finish up this tour of Painted Desert. Okay, so now we're going to go to the other guard-gated portion of Painted Desert. We're going to go on Ann Road and head west on Ann Road. And then we're going to go check it out. So, when we get to this light, right across the way is all that shopping and I need to hurry up so I don't miss this light because I do not want to wait at the light. It's amazing how many city parks they have up in this Northwest region. Um, as I was doing a video for Lone Mountain, I mentioned that um, I wanted to do a video on all the parks up in this area, which could be a possibility. I don't know how interested people would be to see what parks look like in Las Vegas. It's a thought though, um, something to do in, in a video to have on my YouTube channel, right? <laughs> So give me a second, we're going to um, get into this third gated part and tour this neighborhood and then end our tour. Easy peasy, there's the estate, so then there's more. Their house is that way, right? Yep. Yep. We're not going that way. <laughs> I don't want them to drive by and say, hey, what's Angela doing hey, in our hood? Drive by, they don't leave. <laughs> well, they may be in their front yard. <laughs> See, I like this one better. This one doesn't seem as congested as that other first original one. These houses seem a lot nicer. Don't you think? Are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking you. Yeah, not as congested. The other ones seem very congested. I like some of the designs. Are all these single stories? Looks that way. Looks like it, huh? Only thing is, is like, you know, back in the 890s, everything was white paint, white paint, white paint, so everything looks the same. Yeah. Then you have vintage hills over in here. I'm not going down that way. These yards seem bigger. Oh yeah. There's no stairs downstairs. Oh yeah, there are some two-story homes. Just seemed like that section, I guess, was all single-story. Maybe this is a whole loop-de-loop. -loop. Wow, these are big. Yeah, I like this side much better. I like how the houses are kind of all at an, an angle. angle. Yeah, that's nice. These are townhomes here. Yeah. yeah. Villa on the green, villas on the green. These are the condos. And as the name implies. We did a loop. We did loop. See, yeah. this is that other gate. Yeah. That we were gonna come, you said no. 
Oh, this was the other gate. Oh, no, gate. this is it. Villas, no, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, Vizcaya. See, this is the other gate. Oh. All right, folks. We just did a loop-de-loop -loop around the other part of Painted Desert. That concludes our neighborhood tour. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Painted Desert. If you live in Painted Desert or if you've had any experiences in Painted Desert, I would like to know your feedback. Make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com where I've gone through all the neighborhoods in Las Vegas. And one day, just one day, there will be a video attached to all those neighborhoods. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.